In this exercise, we're going to be discussing placing general dimensions. I'm going to use the editing model dimensions that we left off with because this is more of a real world workflow. We've brought in our model dimensions, we've edited them, we can you know, make sure everything's exactly the way we want it to be. And so now we have this view pretty much done, but that kind of leaves our other views kind of out in the cold. So I'm going to come up to the general dimension or just the dimension tool. And I'm going to select two lines, and I'm going to drop the dimension. Do the same thing again, and I drop it. You'll notice, even though I'm selecting way down here, it leaves the gap at the end. If you did that in AutoCAD, it would actually leave the gap right here where you can't even see it. If you just pick on a line, of course it will give you that line. You can actually measure out the hidden lines here. Once again, even though I selected way down here, it gave me the gap here for my dimension. I could come in here and get pretty much anything I needed. You'll notice whenever I select here and here, it gives me this little yellow dot here. If you see it right there at my cursor, I'll hold it still for a second. What that's basically saying is, is that I want to line it up with this dimension here. So it's going to lock those dimensions together. So you don't end up with a you know a dimension kind of just slightly above it. It's actually going to be perfectly aligned with that. So now I have a perfectly good set of dimensions there. I can come over here to the next one. If I select on a hole, you'll notice that it will give me the diameter of the hole. Now if this is a true hole, I'd want to use the hole and thread notes that we'll get into in a little bit more detail in a later exercise. But because I'm just showing you this command, I'm just going to let you select some circles and things here to give a radius or dimension on. You will notice that it kind of breaks up these lines, so you can't just pick a single line here. You can pick points. If you wanted to do a point and do an aligned dimension. If it won't give you the dimension type that you want, if you right click, you can force in a horizontal, vertical, align, diameter, linear, symmetrical. You know, if I do an align dimension there, even though Inventor doesn't want to, I can force it to do an alignment. Every dimension that you pretty much need to create in Inventor can be done with a single dimension tool. There's no individual tools like you have in AutoCAD, where you have one for linear, one for vertical, one for diameter, one for angular. If you need to create an angular dimension, select on the two lines. Inventor automatically understands that, hey, you either want to do this, or you want to come in here and you want to do this, or you want to come in here and do this. So you have a bunch of options under that one command. That one command will allow you to do everything you need to do, and you can put any dimension on here you want. So try to put a bunch of dimensions on here. This is a little overkill. We would never add all of these dimensions to this part but add them if you need to. So you can pick and choose which ones you want to add, what your shop prefers over the other. You can go ahead and add it in there.